Hi, this is Marisa Murgatroyd, founder of Live Your Message, where we help experts, coaches, and entrepreneurs build a leading brand and lucrative web platform that positions you as the number one authority in your field. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find all the blog posts you could ever need, completely free of charge, using a little known advanced search feature in Flickr. In just a couple minutes, you can find amazing photos and illustrations that don't look like the fake images you get off the big stock photo websites, and they won't cost you a dime. But before I begin, I wanted to show you a few examples that I've used in my blog so you can get a sense of the quality of images you can find. Here's a photo I used from this little girl Clover's photo stream. You really can't find anything like this on the big stock websites. I mean, check it out. Isn't she cute? Here's another photo and illustration that I found. Again, it's super good quality. And this photo stream, Planeta, only wants me to credit them in order to use it. And here's a third image. This one looks more like a standard stock photo that you get, but it's got a little bit of an edge to it. You can tell that it's not one of those major iStock photo images. So how do you do this? All right, first it begins with the search. All you need to do is type in whatever you want to search for. I'm just going to put in blog and hit return. So you're going to get all of these different images. This is not what you want to do. You need to now click the advanced search button. Once you get to the advanced search button, you can scroll down. Again, you can actually choose to include screenshots and illustrations in your search. Now this is where it all the magic happens. You want to only search images within the Creative Commons license content. Now, let me show you what this means. If you go to flickr.com slash creative commons, you can see the terms of all of these different licenses. But of the 6 billion plus images on Flickr, almost 200 million are available under a Creative Commons license. That means that the photographers, whether they're amateur or professional, have decided to let you use their images completely free of charge. Sometimes they have limitations on this Creative Commons license, like they don't want you to use it commercially or they don't want you to alter the images. But most often they're willing to let you use it just for an attribution, which is a link to their website. Here's an example how, how I did a link. So this says photo by Clover One and it links to Clover One's photo stream. So this is Clover and this is all the images that she has taken. So that's what's customary, just a link to their photo stream. And then you can use their images in whatever context you want. But again, pay attention to whether they want you to use it commercially or non-commercially. In a blog, it's pretty much non-commercial use. So I have found pretty much all of my blog images this way, and they look really good. So if you choose only search within Creative Commons license content, if you want to use the images commercially, you can click on find content to use commercially and that will vet the images further. If you want to be able to kind of modify, adapt, change, color correct, add to this image, you also want to click this button here. But for now, I only want something with a Creative Commons license. So now I'm going to click search. Remember, I searched for the word blog. So now you can see I have all of these options to choose from. This one's pretty good. I blog, therefore I am. This looks like an image that I would use in my blog if I'm writing about blogging, which I often do. So I blog, therefore I am. You can see here the creative license attribution, some rights reserved. If you want to know what, you can click more specifically on it. So attribution, that means I've got to credit them. Non-commercial, okay, that's not a problem. Non-derivative, I'm not planning on altering this image. So this image is good to go. I can use it. So now what you do is simply click on the image <clears throat> and you'll be able to view all the different sizes of the image um, and download what you want. I'm using this on my blog. I'm just going to download the original size. So you can control click or right click and save image as. So I'm going to save this to my desktop and there you go. I now have an image for my next blog post. It's as simple as that. People always ask me, Marisa, where do you get these amazing images that you use on your blog? And this is it. This is the secret. It's super easy, it's free, and it will just take you a couple minutes. Every time you blog, I recommend you take just a few minutes to find a really nice, high-quality image. 
it really makes your blog post pop. If somebody's searching and finds you on Google and get to your blog, that extra couple minutes will make the difference between them sticking around and reading your post or leaving and never coming back. And if they stick around, they just may sign up for your mailing list, look at your products, buy from you. Blogging is all about deepening your relationship with your prospect and finding that perfect image is one place to begin. And again, it's super easy. All you gotta do is go to Flickr, type in your search term, go to advanced search, scroll down to the bottom of the advanced search window and click only search within Creative Commons licensed content. That will give you hundreds of images to choose from and one of them is most likely going to be the right one for your blog. This is Marisa Murgatroyd. Now go out there and live your message.